Hello, guys, people. How you guys doing today? I'm sorry, I just kicked the <laughs> this, the tripod. But, um, yeah, I'm coming. I tried to film this a few times. This video right here, I tried to film it a few times. But, you know what? I'm going to film it and we're going to get through it. But, uh, cleaning house. That's what this is about. Cleaning house. You no, know, when people come over, we want them to see our house clean and beautiful. You no, know, the, the living room clean, you no know, sparkling. The, the kitchen immaculate. The bathroom don't look like anybody ever used it. But going to the bedrooms and the other rooms, ooh, look like a tornado hit them. But we present it to look nice. We want people to come over to our house. And I'm not saying everybody house is like that. You come into my living room, my living room is a disaster. And books and papers and medicine, I got stuff all over, but <laughs> it's, if somebody come over, I wouldn't want them to see this. I would want to have it cleaned up. Now, it's not my house is messy and I got like clothes and trash and stuff on the floor. I don't do that. I got a trash can. I put the trash in a trash bag. Clothes go into my room because that's where the clothes go and everything. So, I'm sorry. If you hear that in the background, the, the gardeners are out today cleaning them. But we going to get through this. I'm not going to let this deter me. I'm going to get through this. But, um, yeah, I mean, we want people to see our house clean. You know, for a person, you no, know, hey, you no, know, the house was very welcoming. Smelled real good, you no. Know? But then... God ain't talking about this house. He don't care about what's going on in this. This, he, uh -uh, this has nothing to do with him. He care about this house. The house inside you. Sorry, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> that was a message on my, on my phone. So I got a camera. I need to start using my camera, and that's what I'm gonna do. But he want he talking about the um. That soul of ours. That's what he want clean. He and he want to help us clean it, and he want us to be able to really call on him so we can clean that. You no, know, get all that junk out. He don't want us carrying around that junk. And for us, we will hold on to it. It's just like you have a trash can. You throw stuff in the trash can and. And but just imagine you just doing stuff in the, just around old cup you don't need it no more just throw it on the on your couch or a bag of trash that needs to be taken out instead of you taking it out you're gonna throw it in a corner that's what he's talking about holding on to a lot of emotional trash emotional trash physical trash no psychological trash just stuff that's in us that we need to get out he want us to have he want us to have these clutter free houses houses we could live with peace in and when you got a lot of junk in there you can't live you can't find peace i know i know for a fact i was living with a lot of stuff no just stuff on top of stuff and, and I wasn't dealing with it. Wasn't dealing with it. Okay, no, I'll worry about it another day. I ain't got time for it. But instead of me saying, no, what, this stuff is hurting me. I need to get this stuff out of me. I need to start taking care. I need to start taking care, better care of me. Doing what I need to do so Laverne can be okay. I wasn't doing that. Not not trying to take any steps of taking care of me. Doing what it takes to make me okay. No, I wasn't doing that. And then one day I started thinking, know what? I want peace. I want joy. I want patience. I just I wanna be able 
to really get up and not have to worry about anything just to be at peace. And Lord, know what? I'm giving this to you. I had to give it all to the Lord. And know what? He, little by little, he started taking that trash out. Started taking it out. Next thing you know, I was clean. You know, the, the harassment that I had, sexual abuse, you know, everything, everything that I was dealing with, the depression, the anxiety, everything. He just started taking, taking stuff out little by little. He started cleaning the house. He started cleaning it. I didn't even know where to start. That's why I was stuck. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Trying to, to say that no, why am I here? I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. Now, before I start, before he started cleaning that stuff out, I couldn't see a good reason I needed to be here. I mean, I wasn't happy. I would want to be alone. Just didn't want to deal with anything. And no, I was that way for a long, for a long time. No, instead of me really getting out and dealing with things, I didn't. I didn't. I let things sit up in me and just get to a point where it just started to bubble up. Things started to come out and I was like, nah, this is, this, it has to be a better way. And when I used to hear people talking about, yeah, I'm living with peace and I'm living to, with joy. And I used to think, no, well, they know they lie. Why they lying? They don't have to lie. Be honest. You know what? Now I can see their honesty. I can see where they can have peace and joy and just be at peace. Just to let everything go. I did it. And I haven't been more happy than I am now. When I, when I let God, God have to clean that house. You got to do your part. I mean, you got to do your part. You got to be willing to say, no, well, it's time for me to get rid of this. I'm not going to hold on to it no more. You know what? It, being in this flesh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But you got you to gotta be willing to. You know if you fall down and you, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get back up and I'm going to start running, Lord. You know what? I'm still dealing with it. I need a little bit more help. He gonna give you. He gonna give you the help you need. But you gotta be willing to receive it. A lot of people. I don't need no help. I can do this by myself. I can do that by myself. No, baby. No. You can't do it by yourself. Because if you could do it by yourself, it would have been taken care of. A lot of people love holding on to that trash. Give them a, a reason to be mad. Oh, no, you are not living in this for free. Sorry. <laughs> you got to go. You got to go. Having you hold on, mm -mm. <laughs> you got to go. I let nothing bother me. I let nothing bother me. Say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. As long as you don't lay a hand on me. I'm good. As long as you don't try to hit me or come and try to do harm to me, I don't care. Say, say what you want to say about me. Words are cheap. Words are a dime a dozen. So what they talk about? They talk about Jesus Christ. I know I ain't nearly as perfect as he is. I ain't even close. So when people talk about me, I let them. 
Hey, do what you do what you gotta do. Letting you know you ain't living in my head for free. And I ain't gonna let what you say bother me. I'm, all I'm gonna say is, Lord, they need you. Because you really do need Jesus. And only he is the one that can set you free. Not you yourself. Because I know I tried to, okay, yeah, I'm going to let this go. And I ain't going to let this person bother me. And I ain't going to let that person bother me. But things that was happening in my childhood when I was little was bothering me. I had to let it go. You know what, Lord? I forgive them. I forgive all of them. Put them in, I put them in your hands, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, you deal with it. And he did it. He dealt with it. But as he was dealing with that, he was dealing with me. Because most of it was on my side. Because when I got behind this door and shot it, Whoever was out there who, who had it against me, they weren't worried about it. They was probably laying their head down, going to sleep at night. And I'm sitting up dealing with it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not no more. I'm, I'm not going to let you take my joy. Uh, you are not worth it. You, ain't, you didn't give it to me, and I am definitely not going to let you take it. After he cleaned this house and got everything in order and got everything in shape. Man. Blessing on blessing on blessing. And why I don't, didn't think he was blessing me is because I had all this stuff. Pushing up. Pushing up trying to just crowd it. Just like if you put put trash stuff in a trash bag, after a while stuff go overflowing it. All that stuff can't fit in there. Throw it away. Take it out. It needs to go out. And that's what we need to do. We need to say, you know what, this house needs to be clean. All that junk in there needs to come out. I need to start, I need to be on the word, you know what? Joey is, is my song of the day. I mean, I I get up feeling good. I go to bed feeling good. Because, like I said, at the end of the day, you have no heaven and no hell to put me in. At the end of the day, I have no heaven and no hell to put you in. So I ain't finna talk about you. I ain't finna judge you. None of that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and I'm not finna... I'm not going to waste my time with it. Are you crazy? That'll be precious minutes I can't get back. Of my life I can't get back. You going around, you going around living your happy-go-lucky life. And I'm sitting here in here, you no know, scratching my head. And thinking, you no, know, why? It's not worth the people. So, people of God, that is what I want to tell you about cleaning house. It's more to come. We're going to be talking about cleaning house for a long time. Because, you know what? We all should have a testimony. Like this channel say, my testimony. I got a testimony each and every day. When I open my eyes, that's my testimony. When I move my arms and my legs... That's my testimony. When I can get up and open my door, that's my testimony. Because you know what? Some people can't do that. All they can do is open their eyes and move from side to side. Can't even move their head. Just move their eyes. But know what? That should be a testimony for them. That God gave them life. Maybe some people figure, no, well, yeah, life ain't worth living in that condition. Yeah, it's probably not. But it's not my call to make. 
But like I said, uh, there is so much that's going on in my life. Every day, all of us should have a testimony. I made it through the night. You know, I was able to open my refrigerator and have food. I had a roof over my head. I had clothes I can put on. You know what? Maybe you ain't got a washer or dryer. You got you got a, a sink. I'm sure you got water in your house. Sometimes I just go in there and pearl shorts, rinse my shorts out them on my hands and my shirt. But know what? In the in the the next day, my clothes are clean and I have clean clothes to put on. So there's always the Lord is blessing us. Giving us testimonies. Tell me about your testimony. I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear what the Lord is doing for you in your life. But like I said, I would talk to you guys again. Like I said, there's so much more I got to say. But like I said, my phone was full. But I do have a camera. And I'm going to start using it. As soon as I learn how to work it. But you guys... Take care of yourself. Remember, you are beautiful and you are loved. And don't let nobody steal your joy. I love you and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.